Um, a hundred years ago, a Gaderdi, the black chair, was posthumously awarded at the Birkenhead Estedvod for Heathwind's Audel Araru. I would like to congratulate the poet's nephew, Gerald Williams, and also Park Kenneth Lethal Aruri for safeguarding the family farm Arascorn for Wales. This is opened officially today. This month also celebrates the referendum 20 years ago that brought devolution to Wales. The withdrawal bill is a barefaced Westminster bid to take back control against the will of the people of Wales. Can the Minister tell this House what his Government will do when Wales denies consent to the bill later this year? Would it not be political folly to press ahead in such circumstances? Honourable Lady, could, if colleagues could show some sensitivity to time, that would be appreciated. Thank you, State. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'd certainly underline many of the points that uh, the Honourable Lady has made in relation to Heath Wynne and his former home is being uh, opened uh, today. Uh, but the Honourable Lady will recognise that the withdrawal is about creating the smoothest form of exit uh, that we can possibly uh, deliver. And uh, where the, my right honourable friend, the First Secretary of State, and I met the First Minister earlier this week, we're keen to deepen our engagement even further. We want the Welsh Government to respond so that we can come up with the sorts of frameworks that will work for every part of the United Kingdom. Well, in the past, there'd be more powers to Wales, but his banal rhetoric is it not undermined by his government's record of broken promises, tidal lagoon, no decision, S4C funding slashed, rail electrification cancelled. Will he list the powers that Wales can look forward to and when we will hear about what they are? Mr Speaker, I'm disappointed by the tone of the Honourable Lady's question because she is well aware of the strong record we have in relation to devolution. Earlier this year we passed the Wales Act. Uh, Last December we agreed a new fiscal framework which gives a very fair settlement uh, uh, to Wales and we're trying to work with the Welsh Government in the closest way possible to deliver an exit from from the European Union that will work for every part of the UK and Wales is obviously my interest in that.